Madison Shakespeare Company presents a very special presentation of Macbeth. And here to tell us a little bit more about the incredible venue and also the show, we have director Francisco Torres. Good morning to you. Good morning. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank well, you. Well, we're glad to have you. Tell us first about where you will be performing Macbeth. Uh, we'll be performing it at the new building there at Edgewood College. It's called The Stream, and it's just right behind uh, that building. It's attached to the building, but it's a Greek-style amphitheater that goes its view right to the forest, right there. It's really neat. And then behind it is the lake. It's a beautiful setting. So you don't even need a set. No, it's there. It was built for us, so it's great. And Nature is awesome. And lighting, actually, you don't need either. No, no. We start at 6.30, uh -huh. so, and the play is only about two hours, a little over two hours, so it's beautiful. It just takes us straight through. We just see the sunset coming down, and it's exactly what we need. Oh, just gorgeous. Now, tell us a little bit about some of the specifics. Now, you bring your own chair, mm -hmm. but there are still tickets involved. Oh, yes. It'll be great if you go ahead and get your reservations in okay. so we know how many people are there. The space is an intimate space. We can get about 100 people in there. But, of course, we want to know so that way we don't turn anybody back. Sure. You know, everybody knows, hey, this is how many more seats we have left for you. So. Okay. <laughs> now, for those who maybe didn't read Macbeth when they were in high school, can you give us a little synopsis of the show? Oh, sure. So the story starts with our fallen, our hero, mm -hmm. and then throughout his ambition, well, his ambition leads him to fall. So there's a few deaths here and there, so I, I would definitely, if you're a little squeamish about uh, a couple deaths, be careful, because uh, uh, it does happen. And it's all about the tragedy of Macbeth. So in essence, what happens to this hero when ambition strikes him? Uh, and where does it lead? So that, in essence, it's, it's small little general synopsis of that. And of course the lead character of course is Macbeth, mm -hmm. but can you tell us about a couple of the other characters? Oh sure, there, there's a lot of characters involved. We actually have a cast of about 24 people mm. involved, so it's a pretty large cast and we're trying to get all of these stories in there. An interesting thing is when I've seen a lot of the other productions, they make Macbeth evil uh -huh. right away and uh, one of the things we wanted to do that was different is the fact that well the title is the tragedy of Macbeth so in a sense it's like how is it that this hero again that we love becomes a tragic individual there and it says Macbeth it doesn't say Lord Macbeth so hmm. we also create this as a tragedy for Lady Macbeth and if we think about it when Macbeth becomes king then he becomes the representation of the country and in that case it becomes the tragedy of everyone in that community, everyone in Scotland. So we have Macduff, uh, we have Banquo, his best friend, uh, we have King Duncan and his sons. So there's a lot of people involved and the second some of these things happen, so how does this become a tragedy for everybody, including even the witches? Well, a great perspective on all of this, and it is coming up next week. It starts on Thursday and mm -hmm. runs Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. There is a matinee performance, too, mm -hmm. so you can come during the day to see it. And it all um, occurs, Francisco, the best place to park, you say, would be right at the college oh, lot. Oh, yes, right, right okay. at the college. We should have some people there to kind of help individuals through. To guide uh, you The through. campus is beautiful, uh -huh. uh, and we do want to thank Edgewood College for allowing us to be there and be able to do this. So bring your chair and oh, yes. uh, be ready for a wonderful presentation. Thanks so much, Francisco. Thank you.